Hey guys, Pablo with BND and today top reddit post nuclear revenge We're gonna actually only have one story and the reason for that is because it's kind of a long story But before we start I just want you guys to understand I'm not trying to capitalize in r slash fame But I really enjoyed this story and I really enjoyed to know that r slash even if indirectly Helped someone to actually solve a huge problem and that's props to him and I think that's just freaking awesome So let's go with the story r slash help me get my neighbor removed from the city so, I am not a regular Reddit user. I recently found r slash on YouTube and heard many stories of revenge, pro-revenge, etc. I am a very forgiving person, often taken advantage of, but I let it slide. I have one exception, don't mess with my kids, the LDR at the end. Quick backstory, my oldest is on the autism spectrum. When we first moved here, six years ago, he saw two girls playing next door with some rocks. He knew he wasn't allowed to leave the yard, so he ran around our property finding the prettiest rocks he could and threw them at the girls, who ran crying to their mom. I spoke to their mom, who seemed cool, and we resolved the issue peacefully, I thought. Shortly after we moved here, I noticed the neighbor's dog would get out and roam the neighborhood. She was very skittish, so I could never catch her. We live in a busy road, so I was worried and occasionally called animal control to see if they could help her before she got hit. One day, my neighbor's other dog was in our yard. When the kids and I stepped out of the house to go to the car, it snarled and growled. I called the police. It was Sunday. Animal control was closed. And they took care of it. The next day, neighbor storms over to me, screaming at me for costing her a lot of money. She blamed me, my husband, her landlord for not fixing her fence, and insisted she had very powerful friends who would crush me if I didn't leave her alone. She screamed over her loss of thousands of dollars, claiming I cost her daughter her senior pictures. You should be more forgiving, she said, since I should have reported your retarded kid. Don't mess with my kids. Another quick note, it turns out she would let the dogs out when they're in heat and only let them back when they're pregnant. They would sell the puppies and repeat. Animal control did what they could, but they couldn't do much. Since watching r slash, I became quite aware of malicious compliance. I read our city codes and ordinance until I knew them front to back. And I reported her for everything. Cans on the streets at 6.01 p.m. when they're required to be by 6 p.m. Reported. I can hear you from my property? Reported. Grass you high? Reported. I have a massive spreadsheet of times, dates, and violations. Meanwhile, she still let her dogs out. They dug up the neighborhood, booked everywhere and got into our trash. Since the one dog was vicious, I couldn't let my kids go outside without me. We felt like prisoners in our own home. The dogs would be outside in all kinds of weather, ice storms, 100 plus degree heat, no water, no food, no shelter. Animal Control and I became best friends. They desperately wanted the dogs removed. It reached a point where they drove by her house on the way to and from work. They rescued dozens of puppies, sometimes find them wandering the road. Where I live, there is a limit of how many times you can report someone within a time frame. And if I walked into a report and they knew I couldn't, they would give me a shake of their head and I would instead announce I wanted to look at adopting an animal. I've taken in a fabulous video of a cat and a poor abused doggo, but that's not important to the story. My neighbor was furious. Any day I reported them, I would wake up the next day to find something on my property wrong. Car broken into, faucets in the backyard turned on high, the gas my grill left on, all kinds of stuff. I've tried everything, even getting pet involved, before I knew they were likely to put the dogs down. Eventually, the vicious dog was hit by a car. They immediately got a new dog. I reported them for not licensing it. When I spoke to other neighbors, I let them know what was going on and encouraged them to report them as well. I am very active in my community, and I've gotten into first name bases with many, like the mayor, police chief, etc. There was sort of an academy to get to know your city, and I took it. So I met a lot of people and have been volunteering, so they view me in a good light. Well, it's been a couple of years and my work's finally paying off. I got a call from a lawyer representing the county. She was bringing everything to the court and wanted me to testify. When she found out that I had a spreadsheet, pictures and videos of everything, 
She nearly squealed with delight. My neighbor is currently being charged with reckless endangerment, being a public nuisance, animal cruelty, child endangerment, disturbing the peace, and I can't remember what else. The lawyer informed me that they are requesting the following. One, they not be allowed to own any animals ever. Two, the current animals be removed at once. 3. Due to the large number of complaints from the neighborhood and due to the varying types of complaints, they are to be deemed a public nuisance and be removed from the county, never allowed to return. 4. Damage to be paid to the neighborhood, since we all lost many flower gardens to the dogs, plus all the time we had to spend cleaning up the trash and poop up. 5. Jail time. Now, I confess, I didn't know it was possible to be banned from the city, never mind the entire county. It wasn't my intent. I just wanted those dogs rescued. They didn't deserve to be treated like that. Bonus. A few nights ago, I was legit concerned when I heard screaming and crashing from their house. I called the police. Eventually, they got the news about going to court and why, and it started an argument between husband and wife that evolved into a screaming, throwing things event shattering their front window in the process. They only arrest the husband who screamed the entire time that he was going to divorce her and she would take the fall for the puppy mill by herself. I haven't seen him since, but a lawyer showed up at my door on accident looking for her. I looked her name up. She's a divorce lawyer. TLDR. Call my kid a retard while you abuse animals? I'll have you removed from the city and ruin your marriage. Update. Wow, I did not expect this response. A lot of people have made the same comment, so I'll fix a couple of things. First, I'm going through chemo right now, so my brain is wonky, and I typed something confusing to a lot of people. I started reporting her years ago, more seriously, after her comment about my son. But it wasn't until r slash that I found there are so many ways to do it and there can be heavy penalties for it. I had originally only intended to report for a little while, but after seeing her dog during an ice storm, huddled in the cold, I knew I couldn't stop. I had to do something, anything, to help those dogs. So I did the only thing I knew how, I kept reporting, escalating the variety when I learned I could. Secondly, I don't have an issue with r slash making money off my story, I look at it when a singer does a cover song. He's giving his interpretation of it. It's also great for a couple of friends I have who are dyslexic. R slash and a YouTuber who reads Reddit stories out loud. I appreciate being in the video, but no, I didn't lie just to get on there. I get nothing out of this. I don't have a YouTube channel and I've only posted on Reddit twice. I just hope this story helps someone help animals. Third, no, I didn't fully go nuclear just because she is retard. Lots of people use it. I'm a gamer. I hear it a lot. It was the way she said it, meant to hurt him. And if you've ever looked at a kid in the eyes when he asks what that word means, you know the pain it brought us. The crying. He's wondering why he's different and not like other kids, and if others would always hate him just because he's different. My neighbor's kids walking by the house, throwing that word and others at us. He went into therapy and has been much better. It still hurts when someone calls him that, but he can handle it now. He's also turned into a freaking awesome person, but that's another story. Fourth, I can update after court, but I'm told I won't know the results. I can probably guess if she never has dogs again or puts the house up for sale, or if she comes screaming at me again. Fifth, I can't upload any pictures because I don't know how. Her dogs were a pit mix, something black and fluffy, the one that got hit, and a dog that looks like a target mascot. My dog is, we're guessing, a Belgian Malinius. We have to guess. He was rescued by police. We think he was used as a bait dog for dog fights. He had no concept of a car ride with the window down, a bone, or even a ball. Crud. I'm tearing up again. He was malnourished and had heartworms. We've had him for a few months and he's doing much better now. He loves snuggles, doesn't flinch when we reach for him, and he will chase a ball even if he just stands next to it when he finds it. We named him Drax the Destroyer of Cats. My cat was rescued from the side of the road as a kitten, too young to be away from her mother, but no one found her mother, and, and no one came to claim her. She's my best friend. She greets me every time I come home and is always snuggling near me. When I'm sick from the chemo, she leans against me and purrs. 
Her name is Molly Queen McGonagall, only spelled correctly. She seems to be a type of Calico. When I first brought Rex home, he tried to get her, either to eat her or play with her, does his name. 6. There is one way on my property, the driveway. I'm surrounded by trees. I could not get past this snarling dog to try to get my neighbor's attention and I didn't have her phone number. I could not keep a gun in the house with an autistic child. <coughs> who is somehow a master of all things electronic or locked. We've been through a lot, stuff that isn't relevant to the story, but we moved here to get a fresh start. I've worked hard to ensure my kids look at their home as a safe haven, a place where they can always come when stressed. It shouldn't be a source of stress. I did not install a secured system because when we moved here, it was to start over. We're broke, literally nuts in the bank. We moved here with some clothes and a car. We've been rebuilding and have a really nice life, but money is still tight, so we couldn't afford the secured system. Seventh, we never saw or heard any signs of physical abuse, but judging from the way the first dog was scared and the vicious one was, well, vicious, I suspected. During one report, animal control couldn't catch the vicious one because it was, well, vicious. I need a new word. Dang chemo brain. They told me to just try to avoid it, as they couldn't come to collect if I called, as it was a danger to them as well. I didn't make any false reports that they were abusing them. I felt that would be counterproductive. If they weren't, it would be in a lie, and it would have gotten all my other reports thrown out. 8. Yes, someone suggested that poison our trash, so the dogs would eat it if they got into it. I couldn't do this. It's not the dog's fault. It seemed a cruel thing to do. On the one hand, it would have put them out of their misery, but I don't feel like I should make that call. Also, when that vicious one was hit by the car, they immediately replaced her. I assume if I had poisoned them, she would just have gotten new ones. It would not have done anything. Ninth, no. I don't feel I went overboard. If I were reported even us, I would fix the issue. They refused to be good neighbors, and they repeatedly neglected those dogs. Other than leaving water out and not chasing them off my property, if they were drinking from the sprinkler, I didn't know what else I could do. People with autism tend to be sensitive, especially to animals. I have two on the spectrum and they had to see these dogs mistreated for six years. They had to hear the car's tires screaming as the driver slammed the brakes, trying not to hit the dog. Until she was hit, they couldn't play outside without me. Additionally, my husband has cerebral palsy, and he couldn't and shouldn't try to handle the trash and or poop their dogs made. I had to handle it, and going through chemo ups you up to a lot of dangerous things. I also should not have handled the trash or poop. I did try to ask her to come clean up after her dogs, but she laughed at me and said I couldn't prove it was her dogs. She still doesn't know all the evidence I have against her. No lie, I'm looking forward to showing up at court with my other neighbors. Remember, I'm not the only one who reported and seen the look on her face. Lastly, the husband came to get his stuff yesterday. They didn't say a word to each other. He loaded his boxes into his car and just drove off. He always seemed nice, other than the dog thing. I wonder if she did it when he was at work or something. The two dogs were taken away pending court, so a big win right there. Animal Control says one dog is terrified and snarls at everybody, inhaling her food the moment they put it in a bowl. All common in abused animals. The other dogs start off crying a lot, but when she realized she wasn't being hurt, she has started warming up. She's a real sweetheart. She's not allowed to be put for adoption yet, but she's being used in our library's Read to Puppies program. I've seen some pictures posted of kids hugging her as they read, and she has a doggy grin. I would do it again. Hey guys, I love this story. That's why I want to share with you. Um, big thanks to r slash for being an inspiration to someone and directly or indirectly helping the person to solve a huge problem. And I'll have to say, I have three dogs and I'm really against people that mistreat animals. I don't care if those are wild animals or someone else's animals. You just shouldn't do that. I mean, we see on the news like people throwing kittens in rivers and stuff like that. That's just me. The other thing I want to say is, as I mentioned in one video before, um, my daughter has autism as well. 
and I know exactly how she feels like people can be really mean uh, in the United States we have a little bit more of awareness but people are still mean and parents don't help those things sometimes so if you do know someone that is on the spectrum you study with someone you have a neighbor or you have someone in your family try to get a little bit more awareness about the situation Try to read a little bit and understand what it is. Don't just go judging them because it really hurts them and it's really messed up. So that's all I have to say, guys. Uh, you know, just just be good people. Be good people to other people. Be good people to animals. Just try to be your best always. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy.